Hey, Commonplace Church, welcome to week four of our Seeking Together. Uh, this week we are going to be praying and seeking together uh, just in regards to this idea of, of petitioning the Lord and petitioning uh, His will to be done for these next steps, for really for, for provisions that um, we, we may need in order to kind of move forward in uh, this direction. We kind of made some uh, decisions about going forward in this next season. Just some uh, really exciting news in regards to, to that and just our next space of where we're going to be kind of meeting together as a church. So really excited for that. And, and that doesn't mean that we're just kind of done praying, fasting and like, oh, let's, that's it. We did, not, not the case at all. Um, you know, these are, these are spiritual disciplines that we are encouraged to just see happen throughout um, just our, our, our daily walk with the Lord. But uh, this week we're really going to just ask the Lord and petition the Lord for His will to be done in provisions, in things we may need uh, just going forward to make this next step actually take place and that we're walking really according to, to His ways. Um, we don't want to walk according to the ways of just, um, just our own thoughts, but we want to walk according to the ways of His word, the ways of His will. And uh, we're going to focus this week really on um, Proverbs 3.5. And we're also going to focus on, I wanted to bring us to Psalm 119. There's a portion of that Psalm, uh, verses 33 through 40. And I want to read that for us now. It says this, Teach me, O Lord, the ways of your statues, and I will keep it to the end. Give me understanding. What a, what a great uh, call out, right? Please give me understanding. How many things we kind of fall into that we're just misunderstood or we, we misunderstand others. And this is, give me understanding, right? And that I may keep your law. And I love this. It says, and observe it with my whole heart. Uh, we talked about kind of a couple weeks back about giving our whole heart to, to the Lord and uh, just letting Him lead, letting Him be Lord over all. Uh, it says this, lead me in the path of your commandments for I delight in that. Incline my heart to your testimonies and not to selfish gain. Turn my eyes from looking at worthless things. That's a great petition. That's a great thing. We, we can find ourselves looking at just different things that at the end they're not, just aren't providing any worth or value in our lives or in what God has called us to do. And give, my, give me life in your ways. Confirm to your servant and your promise that you may be feared. Turn away from the reproach that I dread, for your rules are good. Behold, I long for your precepts in your righteousness. Give me life. So um, really, we're looking forward to this time to, this week in general, to just petition the Lord to, to lead us his provisions lead us in his will um, as we take these next steps forward so looking forward to uh, getting our time together on Wednesday night uh, looking forward to just being together unified as a church throughout the week as we um, center on on the seven in the morning seven at night uh, as we continue to just seek the Lord in this process together as a church so hope you guys have a great week and we will continue to update you guys on anything else that comes our way um, take care